So unfortunately, if you join the National Guard or the Army, there is no possible way to make money outside of your normal work schedule. Obviously that's not true. There are tons of ways to make money outside of the army. It's called entrepreneurship and starting your own business, working on the side, having a side hustle until you can eventually uh, turn it into your full-time income. And it's even possible if you're in the National Guard. Now I'm doing a full video series on different businesses that I've started outside of the military, uh, stuff that kind of works on its own and in the background that still allows me to make income from it and also get my normal day-to-day -day job done with the military. These are also ideas that full-time army active duty could take into consideration as well. So one of my favorite ways to make money on the side is Turo. The Turo is basically a platform that lets you rent out your car when you're not using it or if you have a spare car, an extra car that you don't drive a whole lot. Uh, you could rent that out as well. Now Turo is not completely drama free. I will get into that a little bit more later on, but it is pretty self-sufficient. You do have to do a little bit of work here and there. Oh, tools, you can really automate Turo quite a bit and you can make it more of a passive income situation. Now I will get into the numbers here shortly, but I have had two cars on Turo running at the same time and I was able to manage both of those cars without any issue, especially with some of those systems in place. I've been doing Turo for about six months now and I found two different strategies, two different like totally different ways to make money on the platform. The first way is you managing the car yourself exactly how you think. And then the second way is having somebody else manage it for you. And then you just taking a percentage of those profits, even though you're not really doing really any work at all. Stick around, I'm gonna break down the numbers for both situations. Based on the last six months of me operating on Turo, it's only been getting better and better. Uh, but I chalked it up to starting in the winter time and now it being the summertime. I just believe Turo hosts do better in the summer in general just because there's more people searching uh, for rental cars. So I wanna tell you guys what makes Turo so valuable as a business idea for people that are in the military specifically or people that live close to a military base and it's because the lack of cars on Turo in these smaller towns. So I'm just gonna use my situation which I stumbled across totally by accident. Here is what you see when you search for cars in this military town. We are in the entire southeast of Alabama and we have four cars available. So around this military town, there's not a whole lot of activity going on on Turo. And you can see there is demand for these cars because even though there's only a few cars available, this Camry has 30 trips, this Infiniti has 11. So people do still need rental cars, they're just not any available on this platform. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, I gotta get on this platform. All right, so the first car I put on this platform was this 2014 Chevy Cruze and I put it on the platform at the very end of October, 2022. It looks like it got one trip at the end of October, uh, just a one day or a two day trip, it's $39. So it's just a one day trip here at the end of October. And then November was the first full month that it was on the platform. So November and December, $459 and $654. And that's at like a non-travel season. That's at the end of the year, not during the summertime. So I was very intrigued by the numbers that it was making already. And with the amount of trips that I had going on, uh, the car was gone probably about 80% of the time, maybe even more. Uh, so it was getting utilized a lot. I was making pretty good money just on the side and I wasn't doing a whole lot of work because of some of the systems that I had in place. So overall, I was super happy with the experience and I could charge a little bit more for the car because there was a high demand in the military town for such a low amount of cars that were available. Now real fast, one quick disclaimer, that January number is a little bit inflated because I had somebody smoking a cigarette in the car and they left ashes. I was able to take pictures and then Turo reimbursed me $250 as a cleaning fee uh, even though all I really had to do was vacuum it out and put a new air fresher in there. So you guys may have noticed February and then after that the earnings were done. So what happened? You guys already know what happened. The car was totaled. It was in an accident. So I got a phone call early in the morning from a lady. She totaled the car. The Turo car was about three hours away from where I live. So I had to make arrangements to go get my stuff out of the car. The lockbox, the GPS tracker, different things that were on the car that I wanted back, which was kind of a pain, but they ended up paying out 11,000 and some change. I think 11,200 for the car, which I had only originally spent just over 10,000 on the car. So I wasn't too upset with the amount that they paid out, but I was a little upset because of how much the car was making each month and I was no longer able to continue to make that. And Turo actually ended up Venmoing me the money for the car, which I thought was interesting, but hey, uh, I'll take it. So your two biggest time killers on Turo are gonna be messaging people, one, and two, it's gonna be turning the car over once it gets back, so cleaning it, and both of those can pretty much be automated. 
almost to the point where you do very little work. So the first way is automatic messages within Turo. All the messages you, you could possibly need to send can be automated, uh, unless there's an emergency, of course. But generally speaking, 99% of the trips can be automated and you don't ever have to send a message to the guest yourself. Now, number two, cleaning out the car when it's back. That takes a little bit more work. You actually have to go check the car to see if it's clean. But what I've done is I bought a car wash membership to the car wash just down the street for like 20 bucks a month. It's got unlimited washes, it's got vacuums, it's got rags, it's got everything you could want to clean the car and I just message the person, automatic message the person about 24 hours before the trip is over and remind them that the car has already had the car wash paid for at this address if they wouldn't mind stopping it by and cleaning the car and most people will take the car there, get it cleaned, uh, vacuum it out. That way, whenever the car is returned to me, all I have to do is do a quick wipe down and it takes like less than five minutes, take a couple photos and it's good to go. Now the other way that I found to make money on this platform is to have somebody else do all the work and you just take a percentage of the profit. So after I figured out that Turo was doing so well in my area, I wanted to give it a shot in a bigger city as well to see if it'd do even better. And I happen to have a friend in Las Vegas who also wanted to get into Turo. Uh, so we had a little partnership form. At the start of the year, we bought a Fiat 500, which according to Turo is one of the top ROI cars on the entire platform. And I scoured Facebook Marketplace, found a great listing for a car that was in pretty good shape. It just had a small dent in the passenger side door that had to get repaired. So all in with the car and the repair, I was in about $5,200. Now with the partnership, it was really only $2,600 from me and $2,600 from him. So we split everything 50-50. And that car had to be shipped to Vegas, which was another $900 bill that we split $450 and $450. I did everything as far as making the car legal, doing everything the right way before I sent the car to Vegas. And yes, you can have out of state cars listed on the Turo platform as long as they are insured and in your name. So we've had this car on the platform since January and it's made generally between four and $500 every month. But now as we get towards the summertime, we've had even better luck uh, getting closer to 600 and $700. Again, the utilization of the car is well above 75, 80%, doing pretty well. It does not sit vacant very often. So in these six months, here's the numbers of what we made. We had a total of 2687. Uh, my portion was 806 and his portion was 1880. Again, uh, this is only half the year and we're just now getting to the summertime. So I expect to make about $2,000 on my three to $3,500 total I have in the car. So it would pay itself off completely in about a year and a half to two years of being on the platform. And again, after you have the car paid off, you have an asset that given it's gonna depreciate from what it originally was bought for. So I bought it for 5,000. It's probably gonna depreciate. However, the car itself is paid off. There's no loan on it. And it's also gonna have made its money back in less than two years. So everything that we make after that will just be complete profit. Now again, he takes 70%, I take 30%. So I only get a small fraction of what it actually makes. But it's completely passive. I don't have to do any work. Sometimes we'll talk about, we'll discuss pricing and different things like that. But for the most part, I just sit here 20 hours away and don't do a whole lot of anything as far as the car is concerned. The biggest thing I could say is just get into it, do something, don't just sit on the sidelines. But if Turo's not for you, I do have a full series coming up on different businesses that I've started here in my free time. And a sneak peek of that is rental properties, pressure washing, and a fence construction business. Again, all passive. I'm not out there actually building fences, but it's just a passive way to make that side income. So if you would subscribe, keep an eye open for those. I know you'll really enjoy them if you enjoyed this video and also leave a like helps me out a ton. You guys have no idea. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Comments, leave them down below. I answer every single question you guys might have and I'll see you in the next video. Also guys, I want to give everybody the opportunity to make $25 the easy way watching this video. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel and guess what FF in my channel name stands for. And the first person to guess what it means will get $25 gift card to Amazon.